Oh, oh sorry, I'll correct myself. They are playing Pendulum. <laughs> yeah, there's also Lightning Storm and Harpy's Feather Duster as well. But... Yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah. And Perm is a tricky card. It, can I interact because... with these things in replays? I can. That's pretty cool. Huh. Yep, so opponent is essentially... Oh, he's on, like, dragons. Yeah, it was a pretty cool deck. Gate zero. I'll be honest. Yeah. Gate zero goes over here. I'm not feeling terribly threatened because I know that the main interaction that, that plays is Odd-Eyes Vortex Dragon. Yeah. And... This guy lost me really fast. Why? Yeah, there's probably a lot of better stuff they could have done. But like when I've got a kaiju in hand, I know that the dragon, is... and then I've got a full combo with um, just red in my hand, really. And then I've got the backup with the Doyon. Yeah. Is so it Doyon or Doyon? Do uh, uh, no, I've right. honestly just been calling him black or purple. So. Doyon. <laughs> Electromite into uh, Astrograph is the most powerful interaction the deck has, but you want to do it before you Pendulum Summon normally. And like this guy's not even level seven anymore, so he's not getting the absolute dragon. Interesting. Yeah, it, I don't think my opponent set up optimally, to be honest. Uh, it's still they still had a pretty reasonable setup, uh, but it, the problem is is that for my deck it was too easy for it to break. I imagine if they'd have done a full setup, the game would have been a lot more challenging. I really like Chaos Ruler. I think that's a great card. I, I like Chaos Ruler too, but not in Pendulum. Like, you, the last thing you want to do in a Pendulum deck is mill. They don't do anything in the graveyard. Like, these cards are just gone. Yeah. But He's you do get access gone. to uh, Red Dragon Hot Arch Fiend. Yes. Which is a really good interaction, and then you can use a fusion summon. And you still got the Dragon. vortex dragon, which is the quote unquote important one, I suppose. But yeah, that so you, yeah. So for me, I just need to bait either one of these negates, and the game is effective. And yeah, there it is. Nothing so from says here, I've negate got... me like draw two. Yeah, I mean that's why I like pot of desires because. Not negating it is such a huge liability because you're giving your opponent two more chances, and there's, you can now do such ridiculous uh, combos with just one card, one or two Yu Gi Oh cards. That giving your opponent two cards when you could stop it is just almost always worth it. And then from here, opponent just yeah, yeah the writing's on the wall like from there. It's access code. It's murder. 